According to the Family Code of the Philippines, under Article 149, family is the foundation of the nation and is the basic social institution which public policy cherishes and protects. But in the modern society, where the definition of family relations is evolving, it has become more difficult to discern the responsibilities, roles, and titles of each person within the family unit. From the traditional family ideals, which includes a husband, wife, and their children, the family unit has now evolved to include couples, individuals, or relatives who have adopted children either of blood or not, and single parents who have a child from either a previous relationship or through artificial means. From the legal standpoint, there are different means to protect the rights of the family as a whole, the rights of family members, especially the children, and the responsibilities of each of them. What are the rights of children? Legitimate, illegitimate, and legitimated. What are the differences of each? Who has the right to have parental authority over them? Good evening. You are watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. I'm attorney Karen Jimeno. And I'm attorney Rod Nepomuceno. Tonight, we will discuss your legal rights on adoption and child custody, what you need to know to legally adopt, and what you need to do to gain custody of a child. Our guests for tonight are attorney Frederick Vincent Liu, managing partner of the Liu Mamangun Huko Law Office and attorney Rick Sabornay, associate at the Castillo Lamantan Pantalion and San Jose Law Offices. Good evening, companeros. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for uh, so Derek and uh, and Ricky. No? Yes. So um, yeah, this is a, a particularly interesting topic because you know some of Filipinos because we have a lot of extended family, mm -hmm. and then sometimes, sometimes you know what what happens is that oh you know I'll, I'll go to Japan or I go abroad and I'll leave custody to to someone mm. and then later on there's an issue on, on yeah. custody mm. so and I that's think why, very yeah. controversial yeah. especially for those who either legally separate or mm. get yes. an annulment they're, they're, or those yeah, who yeah, yeah. are not married but then end up mm -hmm. having a child yeah, mm -hmm. right. so from a legal standpoint this is one of the most I guess personal and sensitive mm. topics mm. Right. Sure. because it's, it's very yeah. you know, it's, it's very so painful to lose custody should we go first yeah. and talk about uh, adoption uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, why we, so, uh, why yeah. we go ahead with the adoption so, first first let's go to adoption and Normally, these are for people either who want to add to their children or mm. want to have kids. Mm -hmm. And right. I guess we first go into a discussion of who are qualified to adopt. Yeah, well, um, siempre anybody who is uh, you know not disqualified uh, under mm -hmm. the law um, of legal age uh, can adopt as long as uh, they haven't been convicted of a crime involving moral turpitude. Um, pwede silang uh, magampuhan. No? So, so mm -hmm. that's uh, how it is. Mm -hmm. Can so, you, uh, I guess, yeah. detail those who are not qualified? I know there are affiliation uh, And also, right? there are age requirements, oh, yes. Yes. right? Yes, so, yes, yes. I mean, uh, one, of course, you have to not to be, dapat hindi ka na minor. Mm -hmm. But then, in terms yes. of the age gap, ah, yes. merong 16 yes. age yes. difference. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. Dapat yung adopters, adoptee. Yeah. How many years? 16, 16 years, right. no? And, right. and of course, the exception then is that if it is your own child. Of course. Mm -hmm. oh, tapos, uh, or if it's the legitimate yon. child of the person you're marrying. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. right, right, right. Okay. All right. What are the other what restrictions? The, I know there are restrictions on, let's uh, say, you know, uh, step stepfathers mm -hmm. or, or what have you. Can, can you have... Uh, can you outline some of those restrictions? Basically, um, you're, you're qualified to adopt if you're of legal age, you, you are mentally uh, sound, emotionally sound, psychologically mm. sound. So in cases of disqualifications, for example, if you've been convicted mm -hmm. of a crime involving moral turpitude, then mm -hmm. you won't be qualified mm. to adopt. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So of course, the age requirement is there mm -hmm. if you're less than, uh, 16, eight, less than yung 16 age difference in you then you're not qualified to adopt. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What about minimum age for you to adopt? So you need to be of legal mm -hmm. age, of course. Which means 18, 18, years, 18 years old. 18 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a theoretical question because mm -hmm. in the United States, you have this director, Woody Allen, mm -hmm. who eventually ended up marrying the adopted child that right. uh, mm -hmm. he had with his, by now, ex-wife. Mm -hmm. So in the Philippines, would that be possible? Um, actually, there is legal impediment. Eh, no? mm -hmm. Because the family code says that uh, you cannot marry 
uh, someone that you had adopted. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they're not yun. related, right. saka even mm-hmm. if you eventually separate from your ex-wife na kasama mo mag-adopt, you right. cannot right. marry. That's right. Because yeah. yes. yes. it's against public policy mm-hmm. according to the family. Mm-hmm. Now, what are the ano naman, what are the legal effects no, when it comes to adoption? I mean, uh, mm-hmm. some lalo na in our culture, no? right. sadly, up, even up to now, mm-hmm. when, you, when people say you're adopted or Ampon, as they would say, mm. uh, there's this stigma. Mm-hmm. No? But uh, I know from, from law, mm-hmm. from what I learned, no, you, they actually have more benefits. Yeah, right. yeah, can, yeah. You, can you expound on that? Well, it's, it's, it's simple. You know? Actually, um, being adopted raises you to the level of being a legitimate child. That's right. No? So, um, in fact, uh, there are some uh, parents who have illegitimate children who adopt their children to improve their status. No, mm-hmm. so um, uh, the stigma should not be there. In fact, it is more of a, a benefit rather yes, than right. a, a drawback to be adopted because mm-hmm. uh, you not only become the compulsory heir of your adoptive parents, you also be- you are remain the compulsory mm-hmm. heir of your blood parents or mm-hmm. your biological. Right. Yeah. So you, you, and I guess, you inherit both yeah, ways. One yeah. other thing to clear the misconception that an adopted child is not at the same level as a legitimate child. When the parents, the adoptive parents, pass mm-hmm. away, how much is a share of a legit of a, a legitimate child and an adopted child? The okay. legitimate child, because has uh, adopted child, has the same share as that of a legitimate mm-hmm. child, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. while that of an illegitimate child, that's the half half, mm-hmm. half, 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 half share. Half. So, right. talagang parang full so parang full blooded child. Better pa yung yeah, yeah. And, child. and he or she, uh, the adopted child, inherits from from both parents, di ba? Kung buhay pa yung uh, let's say from the adoptive parents as well as the natural parents, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, yeah. Although may, may question dyan, no? yung uh, parang sinasabi na ba, uh, dahil dun sa repeal nung uh, Domestic Adoption Act, baka pati yun nasama na. Although there's a position na hindi kasama yung uh, intestate succession mm-hmm. dun sa repeal. So dapat pati dun sa uh, biological parents mo, you can still actually inherit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, what are the processes? Uh, yung, uh, when I want to adopt a child, uh, ano yung first step that they, they have to go through? Uh, yung legal process? Because most people, sometimes, uh, some, some of the Filipinos, no? oh, kukunin ko na, i- aangkupin ko na yan. Actually, that's diba? something we have very, to clear to the viewers inf- out oh. there. It is illegal if you just put on the birth certificate of oh, a yeah. child na ikaw yung parent mm. because nung unang panahon madalas <laughs> yeah. ganun na lang eh pag oh. sinabi nila eh iniwanan na ng mga magulang oh. sa ospital yan yes. so they just write the name uh, but, them as yeah. parents that's but actually, this is actually a specific a crime. kind of crime eh? yes, that's it's right. a simulation of birth no yeah. that's a, oh. it's a yeah. specific, specific crime. kind of crime yeah so yung adoption kasi you need to look at it as a legal process by which a a child or a child becomes a legitimate child of of the adopter. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yung, on, on the contrary, you have simulation of birth. Na hindi siya legal na proseso, you just pretend na anak mo itong oh. tao na to. Oh, you pretend. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, the, but there is a, I guess, there is a, there, there are a lot of cases like that. Uh, there are a number of cases I know like that. But, but if no one questions it, there's a presumption that it's, it's regular. That's right. Uh, unless no. someone files a case That's against it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, it is, but you're right, it yes. is illegal. And, it is yeah. and just to clarify, if, the, if a child has no more parents, in, meaning Iliwan and they were left in the mm-hmm. hospital, mm-hmm. where should the adoptive parents or prospective adoptive parents mm-hmm. go? Yeah. Meaning, I mean, they, what process. should they file in court yeah. and well, who should they the, name as? Oh, whose consent yeah. should they get? Well, in the SWD usually has uh, the care and custody oh, of yes. uh, these orphans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're called abandoned children yeah, yeah. or foundlings. Yes. Foundlings, yeah. foundlings. And uh, you would have to get the consent of the DSWD for mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Yes, yung, yung, in response to your question, Rod, no, mm-hmm. um, for those na who are interested in adopting, mm-hmm. they, they usually go to um, yung mga child placing agencies mm-hmm. na accredited ng DSWD or they go to, to DSWD mm-hmm. because you have to understand before you can adopt a child it has to be declared a legally available child mm-hmm. for legally available mm-hmm. for adoption because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. the state may interest dyan eh. yes. uh-huh. state what is not just, uh, uh, the parents mm-hmm. consent because some of the common scenarios that I, at least I know of mm-hmm. is that sometimes the kasambahay will ah, have a yeah. legitimate child and then they leave it with the person they're working for, with mm. their employer. So in that case, what would the person who wants to adopt, what Go, types what, of yeah. consents would they have to get? No, clearly, you have to get it from the mother. No? That's mm-hmm. right. Um, because she has to relinquish the parental authority mm-hmm. towards the uh, adopting parents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and then, is there a, for, a form for that? Uh, is that do they have to just make it? There's what you call an affidavit of consent. consent. All right, mm-hmm. okay. So, um, of course, yun niya, kailangan mo ng consent ng parent, biological mm-hmm. parent. Kung may kapatid yan, 
uh, uh, kung may kung may anak ka na 10 years old above, kailangan mo din ng consent before you can right. actually mm -hmm. adopt another uh, child. Mm -hmm. Kung may spouse yung uh, adopter, mm -hmm. kailangan din ng consent nun. Mm -hmm. At the same time, kung may may spouse na din yung ina-adopt, kailangan din kailangan yun. Na. Kasi you have to understand, hindi lang bata talaga yung pwedeng i-adopt. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, even... Um, a person above 18 can be adopted mm -hmm. under certain circumstances. Yeah, yeah. Pag, yeah. Pag, if it is your own biological child, that's right. Uh, if it is a legitimate child of yours that you want to mm -hmm. improve the status of, hindi naga apply yung 16 years older, mm -hmm. yung kailangan 18 years. Yeah. Hindi naga apply. And attorney Derek, yes. uh, I guess one thing we have to clarify a lot of people don't know that they would even have to adopt their own child if they gave birth before 18 years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. because, yes, yes. Uh, if you have have a, a, a child before you were married, but mm -hmm. you're no longer a minor, basically 18 and above, mm -hmm. then you can legitimate your child, meaning they can be legitimated just mm -hmm. by getting married to their spouse. Mm -hmm. But if the mother is below 18, mm -hmm. that child becomes illegitimate even if she gets married to the parents. father yes. after. Yes. So That's right. for all viewers out there, if you're <laughs> below 18 when you have your child, then you still have to adopt yeah. your own child. Mm -hmm. I know it's yes. oh, counterintuitive. It's, yeah. it's weird, but no? It's but really required. Yeah, even if it's your own yeah. child, oh. You have at the time that you had a child, you can't have it legitimated. You can't have if, him or her legitimated if they're below eighteen. Be, yeah, if you are below eighteen, because there was an impediment when you were when the child was born. All right, we have some questions from our viewers. Let's answer them with the help of our guests, starting with Grace. Uh, can a Filipino Filipino father adopt his illegitimate child of a different nationality and living in another country ah, with okay. the mother? Well. The answer there is it would depend on the existing laws of that country mm -hmm. where that child was residing as to laws on adoption. No? Yes. Yeah. It's not, it's uh, not the, so much here, no? Yeah, because the jurisdiction would be there in the country where the, the child mm -hmm. would be found you know, or mm -hmm. where the child resides. Kundito sa natin, we would be using laws of the Philippines. But there, right. that would be some other law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they can't, he can't uh, force the courts here to take over like to basically come up with an adoption no uh, that's right no, order no, no, no the because child. the 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 courts here would have no jurisdiction over, over the, the child, child. They were in. okay right right our right. next question is from JC my wife had a daughter before we got married i'm planning to adopt this child legally for her to use my family name because currently she is using the surname of my wife when she was single what will be the process and how long will it take? Any estimate amount of cost that will be needed? Mm -hmm. My stepdaughter is 10 years old now. Also, is there a specific time frame before a child can be considered abandoned by the biological father? Okay, so the first one, the first, first one is the process. Is, yeah. Can can he adopt? But it looks like the adoption is more for the child to also carry his surname. That's right. So. Mm. Maybe a consideration here is kung yun lang yung gusto niya. If only if it's only carrying the father's surname, uh, maybe he can just give his consent. Yeah. For the. It what? seems parang may, parang hindi siya yung tatay niya. Yeah. Hindi siya Actually, tatay. That's, well, that's tatay, how I understand no? the question. Uh -huh. eh. Tapos uh -huh. parang at at the same time, based on the question, um, hindi hindi rin sila kasal ng tatay. Kasi the, the child used the surname of the the mother. The, the mother. mother. Right, right, yes. right. Oh. Yeah. So so mm -hmm. I think she was an I guess a single mom. Mm -hmm. No? And then and then she now has a husband. Yeah. I would assume, I know, right? sorry, para, yeah, I guess yeah. husband or, or they're together. Or together. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. She, and he wants to adopt her her daughter, mm -hmm. her, her, his partners, uh, his partners. Siguro unang daughter. comment ko doon, they will have to jointly adopt. Kasi uh, since illegitimate child itong bata na ito, uh, kailangan silang dalawa yung mag uh, mag adopt dito mm -hmm. because the rule is uh, spouses right. should adopt jointly mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all right okay. eh hindi naman niya anak to anak nung kanyang asawa right. or asawa, yeah. kanyang kinakasama i see oh, so all right mm -hmm. what oh, about the that. other question on um, process how long well, will this well, it? and uh, cost well, is it going to be expensive <laughs> uh, well it really depends it on depends. Uh, who you want to adopt. adopt and of course who your representation will be no That's right. uh, there are some uh, different ways of charging i guess uh, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of time frame well it depends on the speed of the judge that is going mm. to be handling can it take uh, like how so short a year a year, a year, a year and a half because you have to understand that there's also a requirement of a supervised trial cost right, right. before you can actually adopt. Mm -hmm. Pero siguro another comment based on the question, no? she, he, she mentioned, na, uh, he mentioned 
that the child is already 10 years old. Mm -hmm. So, kailangan din ng consent, consent. siyempre, nung right. bata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, how about the concern of the biological father? Well, ah, oh. well yeah. uh, that, that would, of course, depend on if the father can still be found. Mm -hmm. if, if his oh. location is still known. Mm -hmm. no? yeah. oh, how long so, is it going to be considered para they can say that the biological father has abandoned the child? That was part of the question. May, may bagong law na uh, RA 9523, pinaikli niya yung, yung definition ng abandoned child eh. Dati, uh, six months yung time frame. Mm -hmm. Now it's just three months, pwede nang i-declare na inabandon ng... And therefore, you don't need the consent of the, yes, of bi right. of the biological father. Yeah, but, right. but if you know, the, you know that the biological father is still around, you need his consent. You need his yes, consent. Yes, you do, you do, you do. Okay. Alright, so uh, here's another question. Jerry is asking, I'm, single gay, I'm a single gay man and have already in my care, a baby girl whom the mother consented for adoption. Mm. The father is already mm. dead. Okay. My, my worry is the SWD might make it difficult for me to adopt because of my status mm. and sexual preference, even though I am fit morally, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and financially. Mm. If the SWD will not approve as required by the court for legal adoption, what will happen to her? Mm. All right. Well, obviously, Ang, when you talk about requirements, naman, you also also take into consideration the the well-being of the child. Mm -hmm. No, the the paramount interest that we have mm -hmm. here is in the welfare of the child. No, mm -hmm. now for me, um, yung, uh, being gay should not be a barrier towards being able to adopt children. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, naman, that courts would not consider sexual orientation in so far as it does not affect the child mm -hmm. it, the, the child itself mm -hmm. in so far as to consider whether or not the father uh, the gay father would be able to adopt the child mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think uh, what would come into play would be his uh, economic uh, fitness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, his uh, you know his psychological, uh, psychological like, you know, makeup yeah, yeah because uh, you know i think uh, society has come to now understand and to accept that uh, it is not bad that's mm -hmm. right in case he's not qualified to adopt mm -hmm. where does the child go considering the the mom already seems to have abandoned mm -hmm. the child's custody goes to yeah 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 okay mm -hmm. we have another question from albert my wife has committed adultery three times while working in another country i know this because she posts photos of herself with her partners on social media wow we have a child together and she is now claiming that I am not what? the biological father. How can I prove that she is an unfit mother so that I can get full custody of my child? Right. So well, now we go into custody. Okay, this is a very complex case. Yeah. You know? But <laughs> the first thing that we have to deal with here is the issue of uh, yeah. filiation. You know? Because mm -hmm. uh, they had the child during the time that they were married. So the presumption is, is that the child is legitimate. No? That's right. Um, for her to be able to say that it is not his, then you have to go through the process of... Uh, DNA evidence, yeah. maybe. Oh, but, they have uh, to go to court yeah. to, yes. for yes. her to prove the non-filiation. Right. For him to prove. Uh, for him no, to for her. For her. The mom claiming. is the one claiming. She was the one claiming. Yeah. That because ah, filiation okay. cannot be right. attacked collaterally. Yeah. Right. Right. You have exactly. to make it directly, meaning yes. she has to claim it and then court and prove it in court. Yes. So I'm assuming that he's the one uh, stated in the birth certificate that he was the father. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he, she has to, she has to counter that, right? Yeah. She has to counter that. Mm -mm. I have a question in relation to the adultery because he was saying that she uh, had committed adultery three times. Yeah. So one question <laughs> would be, is her, uh, her acts of posting photos of herself with partners in social media enough proof for adultery? Well, well, and second, since she's abroad, mm -hmm. is that considered a crime? Because our, crime, yeah. our laws in cr mm. uh, criminal laws are territorial, mm, meaning you have to commit it in the Philippines. So. Exactly. Siguro, be... it's, it's going to be a factual issue, no? Kasi hindi naman porket nag-post ng, ano, yeah. Yeah. talagang yeah, yeah, adulterous yeah. na yung babae. Yeah. Unless talagang it was a film. Unless yeah. 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 it was a film, no? Pero it can be used against, yeah. uh, no? You, you should remember that uh, immorality is one ground for for you to be considered for for, for it to be a compelling reason right. para to lose custody to lose yes. custody oh, right. yeah. and, 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 an and, and, and mm -hmm. he uses the term adultery very loosely mm -hmm. you know because uh, when we use adultery in terms of philippine context mm -hmm. it has to be having carnal knowledge oh, of a woman sexual yes sexual intercourse so, already but if it's committed abroad 
can he file a criminal case against her for adultery? Well, no, because no, um, not. principle of territoriality would apply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All See, right. Rod, right. keep that in mind. That's <laughs> what you're mind, like. <laughs> if she's uh, Remember, flying it, it out. was the woman. It was the woman committing yeah, adultery. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I know I'll be a flying I'm just okay. Women very talaga, interesting oh. topic. We've and it's Women's Month pa naman. So. <laughs> but okay. for now, we'll have to take a short break. Legal Help Desk will return after these reminders. Yeah. Adoption has become popular in the last 10 years when many local celebrities have opted to adopt children prior to getting married. However, adopting a child is not as easy as it seems. According to Article 183 of the Family Code, a person of legal age and has full civil capacity and legal rights may adopt, provided that he has the means to support the child or children, legitimate or illegitimate. In addition, the adopter must be at least 16 years older than the child to be adopted, unless the adopter is the parent by nature of the adopted or is the spouse of the legitimate parent of the person to be adopted. There are also paperwork that need to be handled. Under Article 188, the written consent of the following to the adoption shall be necessary. The person to be adopted if 10 years of age or over. The parents by nature of the child the legal guardian, or the proper government instrumentality. The legitimate and adopted children, 10 years of age or over, of the adopting parent or parents. The illegitimate children, 10 years of age or over, of the adopting parent, if living with said parent and the latter spouse, if any. The spouse, if any, of the person adopting or to be adopted. Thus, the Family Code has listed persons that are not eligible to adopt. The guardian with respect to the ward prior to the approval of the final accounts rendered upon the termination of their guardianship relation. Any person who has been convicted of a crime involving moral turpitude and an alien. You are still watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel with our guests, Attorney Vincent Frederick Lu and Attorney Rick Sabornay, Associate at the Castillo Lamantan Pantelion and San Jose Law Office. Yeah, what, what an interesting topic and, uh, and a sensitive one, uh, as, as we mentioned earlier, lana sa mga Filipinos, no? siyempre, we're a close-knit family, and it's always important no? uh, pagdating sa custody of, of children. Now, let's talk about custody uh, in cases of annulment and, and legal for, separation. Or, Mangana, yes, no? or Mangana. for relationships yeah. that uh, are not married. Yeah, mm. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so, so, lalo na, kunyari, nagkaroon mm -hmm. ng, you know, you were together you had a li uh, yeah. living partner so let's start child. yeah so let's start with illegitimate um, yeah. Yeah. Children, children meaning if the parents were not married mm. in the first place who gets custody of the child well malino naman yun, it's the mom you know? mm -hmm. um lalo lalo na yung tiyatag na tender age uh, mm -hmm. presumption yeah. which is pag below 7 years old no? it, it should be with the mother uh, i think naman that uh, that that is uh, one of the uh, yung parang you come on of getting married <laughs> for the guy so that he will have a joint custody with the mother instead of just uh, having the mother have the custody over the child. What mm -hmm. if the marriage was void from the start, meaning there was a defect or there was a lack of a marriage license, mm -hmm. so it's it turns out to be void? So illegitimate yung child. Yes, woman. exactly. Then you follow the maternal preference rule, mm -hmm. uh, the tender use rule, which was earlier explained na if below seven, talagang sa mother mapupunta. Mm. Mm -hmm. yung custody. Okay. Because but, you you have to understand na um, custody is a con custody is a consequence of parental authority. Mm -hmm. So kung uh, nagasawa kayo, kayong dalawa yung merong mm -hmm. merong uh, parental authority, kayong dalawa yung merong custody ng bata. Right. But if you're not married, but then if the, you're not the married, presumption is with the mother. With the mother. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now question, what are the exceptions to that? What are the exceptions na uh, for the mom to lose uh, parental custody, uh, yeah. parental authority, yeah. and parental custody. Even if the child uh -huh. is illegitimate. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. in yun yung paramount interest. No? Okay. Uh, kapag uh, the mother already poses as a threat to the well-being of the child, mm. 
Mm-hmm. Then the, the mother can be deprived of her custody. In other words, the father, the biological father, can file a petition in court. Let's yes. say, let's mm, say the woman sure. is a, let's say she's drug addict, drug addict, or insane, insane, yeah, mm, yeah. communicable or, disease, or yeah. not economically, uh, de- you know, mm-hmm. independent, or right. parang is, you know. Not, or, so uh, those yeah. are compelling reasons mm. that can uh, that can be a basis to declare the mother unfit for the custody of the child. Mm-hmm. Mm. So now so, let's go to couples that are legally married but become subject to legal separation or, or annulment. annulment. Mm. Who gets custody of the child? Well, actually that issue gets uh, threshed out uh, mm-hmm. during the process of mm-hmm. uh, legal separation. Uh, yung, uh, the issue of custody pendentilite becomes something which, is the, uh, which the judge will uh, rule upon. Eh. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's not automatic. If you're legally married and you file for legal separation or become legally separated or become annulled, it's not automatic that the children go to the mom. Uh, merong presumption, mm. no? Nas, nasa batas din natin yun, na kapag uh, below seven years yeah. old, then it, legal separation or annulment, it goes to the mom. Mm. May ganong presumption. Pero yun nga, again, we go back to the rule mm-hmm. that if it's proven na unfit yung mother yeah. uh, to have the custody of the child, then it can be given to the father. What kind of action does the father, the biological father, uh, take? In, in that, such a case, no? I, I see that the, the mom of my child is, is unfit mm. nga, and she's a vagrant or, or what have you. We'll file for custody. Mm. Yeah, you have petition to file for custody. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, you have to prove that uh, the mother is in fact unfit to be a mom to the child. All right. Mm-hmm. So uh, we have a, a caller on the line. Uh, her name is Malu. Malu, good evening. Uh, go- Malu? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, what is your question, Malu? Sir, ganito po, kasi po may isang babae, may five-year-old daughter siya. Mm-hmm. Ngayon po, may asawa siya, pero hindi po sila kasal, so nag-separate po sila. Mm-hmm. Ngayon po, kasama po siya ng aking manugang sa spa, nagtatrabaho, nag, na-pregnant po siya ng kanyang kaibigan po. Okay. Tapos, ngayon po, nalilito po siya kasi hindi po siya makauwi sa kanila dahil hindi magagalit po ang nanay niya kasi dinadagdagan pa daw niya yung problema. Uh-huh. Ngayon po, sabi ko, wag mo ilalaglag yung bata. Although I'm 60 years old, may mga anak po ako na may asawa pero walang, wala pa po kaming apo. Tatlo na po yung anak ko may asawa. Okay. Ngayon po, gusto ko na lang po kunin yung bata. Sabi ko, dito muna kayo tumira sa amin. Ako nang bahala sa'yo. Eh, sabi niya, si Sarian po ako. Sige, sabi ko, papaalagaan kita sa doktor. Tanungin natin kung pwede ka mainormal. Mm-hmm. So, ganun po ang nangyari. Ngayon po, dito po siya sa amin. At mm, pati anak niya, inaantay namin po four months uh, na po siya on the way. Mm-hmm. Ngayon po, ano po ang mga legal, legal na gagawin ko para po wala pong, wala pong hassle ba sa pag-adapt namin? Kasi po, mm-hmm. talagang ayaw niya po ng bata na mm-hmm. siya ang magpapalaki. Wala po siyang capacity, wala po siyang trabaho. Mm-hmm. So yun po. Yeah. Okay. So we have here so, adoption. Mm-hmm. Adoption, yeah. Adoption, yeah. Ina, ina, inaabangan na ba? Yeah, yeah. But you can't so, adapt a child that hasn't been born oh, yet. No. Hindi pa pwede, ha? So they can't begin the process no. yes, no, before the child is born. You cannot. Okay, oh. but at least to give Malu a head start hmm. para mag-prepare na sila. Ano yung kailangan nilang i-prepare for her to adopt the child? Well, well paglabas ng bata, yung consent ng mother. No, biological so affidavit, affidavit, affidavit of, of consent, consent no? from the oh. mother. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mukhang yun, madali na lang. Of course, and then she has to gather evidence on her behalf once she starts the process of adoption so of ano ah, merong tinatawag na pre- pre-adoptive counseling that the that the adopter and the biological parent uh, have to go mm-hmm. through mm-hmm. before they can actually initiate and which the application which agency should they approach for the pre-adoptive the DSWD. DSWD. Okay. Okay. Oh. DSWD so they should call the DSWD yes, yes. to have a representative yes, yes. conduct mm-hmm. the pre-adoption counseling that's right yes, yes. and then yes. for the affidavit of consent i yes. guess uh, malu you ask for an assistance of a lawyer para ma-draft yon oh. along oh. para masignan din ng mm-hmm. mother dapat may consent. consent dapat may consent yung yes. mother and then, pagka uh, panganak, you then have to go to DSWD for that uh, pre-adoptive ano, conference. Um, uh, ma- ma'am, sir, uh, attorney, may question pa po. Uh, kung kunyari po, pinanganak po, kanino po sa birth certificate mag appear ang name sa mother? Sa mother. Yeah, mother. It would still be the mother. You Please do not uh, oh. register the child in your name okay. because the child is not yours when it was born. No? Okay. 
So, krimen po yun, ma'am. Krimen po. Oo, Mayu, yun yung sinasabi namin kanina na tinatawag sa batas natin, simulation of birth. So, kailangan, ipangalan mo lang dun sa mother, tapos sa father, lagay niya lang yung pangalan ng tatay. Anyway, it doesn't make the father basically part of the child's life. I mean, technically, biological father, kailangan lang nakalagay dun. But when you go through the process of adoption, since bibigay naman ng consent yung mother, that's part of the documents that will be required. So, prepare din ninyo, siguro, yung mga proof ng uh, good moral character, mm -hmm. yung financial yeah, cap cap ay, capability, capability mm -hmm. ITR, mm -hmm. bank certificates, kung meron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And saan court nila to ipafile? Well, it is in the place where they reside. Mm -hmm. um, if it's in Laguna, then it's in Laguna. The regional. Yeah, yeah. The family court. Fam oh. yeah. Family court. Attorney, Our... one more question po. Mahal po ba mag karoon ng legal adoption, malaki po ba money involved? I think, uh, I think depend, and I mentioned na uh, ni attorney Derek yun, no? it depends on, I guess, the law firm that you're gonna tap, at uh, yung, I guess, kung sino yung adapt nyo nga, I, it, would, it would really depend, um, no, Malu? Um, but I think the, the first step you need to do, or the first step, yung affidavit of consent. And then mm -hmm. after that, you go to the SWD. Yeah. The SWD will then guide you. Kasi meron naman silang mga mga officers of the day doon and uh, and they will guide you accordingly no na guest mm -hmm. na namin ng DSWD yeah. dito no? well, maybe siguro if you're looking for a lawyer ask the DSWD if they've had experiences mm -hmm. kung sino yeah. in your area mm -hmm. yung mga right. adoption lawyers oh, so para the pau also baka mm -hmm. yeah. provide din uh, pau naman yeah public oh. but it's always a good idea so. if you get lawyers you get from your locality na lang right. para hindi na masyadong mahal ano mm -hmm. uh, kung sa Laguna na lang yung kunin yung lawyer para mag-initiate ng adoption proceedings mo mas makamura kayo kasi Siyempre, pagdating sa appearance fees, mala malaking bagay okay. if they're just so, from there. Ma Maumpisaan po namin adoption after the mother gave birth already. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma ah, yes, ma okay. Alright. Thank you po. Thank you oh, very thank much. Thank you. Thank Good you very day. much, Malu. Thank well, you, Malu. Right. And in the meantime, the child can live with them, no? The yeah. child and the mother. Yes. 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 Oh. Mm -hmm. Our next question is from Donald, and he wants to know, can a father get back his surname from an adopted son? So, so father, parang gusto niya ang bawiin. Uh, 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 mabawiin na yung adoption. Mukhang hindi nag-behave yung, baka hindi na gusto niyo galing. Pwede binabawi yung surname. Uh, oh. da dati sa old, uh, sa, sa family code, ba bago yung domestic adoption act, pwede yun. Pero ngayon hindi na. Hindi mm. pwede yung... Once you've given it. Hindi, once oh, once uh, na in-adopt mo na, hindi uh, mo na pwede mm, bawiin. Nasabihin na bawal mo na gamitin yung surname oh, ko. Okay, right. but this is a good time to mention what are the grounds for rescission of an adoption, meaning where you have the adoption Machine. Yeah. rescinded, meaning binabawi mo yung adoption legally. Yeah. What are the grounds? So, una, we need to clarify, the only one who can rescind would be the adoptee. Mm -hmm. yung meaning batang, the bata. Oh, na inadopt. Mm -hmm. So, ano yung grounds? Pwedeng repeated uh, verbal abuse, abuse di ba? Yung, physical, uh, physical abuse, abuse mm -hmm. uh, sexual assault. Mm -hmm. yan. The uh, adoptee ang na magawa. Ng adoptee. Oh. So, yung adoptee yung gagawa nun. No. Ngayon, so, since kung minor pa siya or incapacitated, the DSWD will have to mm -hmm. enter the picture yeah. mm -hmm. okay. para i -resin. So, adoptor no. can, can, oh, cannot. Can can adoptor can, oh, can never. Yeah. Because can remember, well, remember, the functional equivalent of adoption is making it a legitimate child. Yes. Uh -huh. And you cannot have Get there any acts to uh, <laughs> unlegitimate unlegitimize your <laughs> pero there's a legal remedy kung ayaw mo siguro kung hindi na talaga siya karapat dapat na maging anak mo what you can do is to disinherit disinherit mm -hmm. yeah. there are grounds yeah. there are grounds for, for, for pero there are uh -oh. grounds for disinheriting yeah. not because galit ka or mak right. makulit yung anak mo you can <laughs> yeah. disinherit them yeah. you have to check the law yeah. to see what yeah. the grounds yeah. for disinheritance yeah. and, and disinheritance only helps in so far as yung kung ano mamanahin nila galing sa'yo ha? Right. Hindi, hindi yun nakaka-effect dun sa appeal Sir, That's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, okay. Our next question, man, is from Marianne. My husband and I want to adopt my sister's illegitimate daughter. We are currently here in Metro Manila, and she's living with my mom in Mindanao. My sister is in the Middle East with her second child and her new husband. Her dad ab abandoned her, 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 but has signed before on her birth certificate to acknowledge her. How can we adopt her and gain full custody of her? Okay. Right. So, did, did you get the question? Yeah, so, yeah, I did. yeah, we did. So, all right. Well, first of all, they're both uh, Filipino citizens. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, the Daniel and domestic adoption. So, pwede. Uh, dahil nandito rin naman sa Pilipinas yun. The fact that the mother is abroad does not have any bearing in so far as uh, uh, what law will be used. She uh, can give her consent naman, di ba? She can. Oh, she yeah. can. And, but her affidavit of consent has to be notarized abroad, abroad. No? Yeah, it's in a the Philippine, Philippine consulate. consulate. In consulate. the Middle East. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no, so, no, so no, no impediment there. No impediment. Yeah. You, can, you, can, you can adopt. 
So you we, have to go through the, the same process again. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have another question from Neil. I'm an Australian citizen with a son to my Filipina fiancé, who sadly passed away due to complications while giving birth to him. I am presently in Australia and have obtained an Australian citizenship for my son and am now in the process of applying for his passport. While here, my son is under the care of his grandmother and aunts. Because I am not familiar with the laws in the Philippines, where do I stand in regards to custody over my son? Well, so it's a foreigner, um, a foreigner. Yeah, this is already going to be a foreigner that uh, wishes to adopt a child. You know, uh, it becomes a little complicated because the mother is already gone. Kung kung mm. kung buhay pa sa nai na nai. Um, Pero kung wala namang problema, siguro dun sa pamilya and he's being acknowledged as the father, mm -hmm. then he, he enjoys parental authority over the child. Yeah, and he can, he can have cause. So, di kung, kung wala naman silang yeah, problema as regards the yeah. Yeah, pero, identification. Pero, pero I think the issue here is that uh, he wants ina, to bring, ina -apply ng yes, Australian citizenship. Yes, he wants citizenship. to bring the baby to Australia. In, he's already applying for an Australian passport, passport. for yeah. the child. So in this I case, think, I think he needs to adopt. I think he, he goes through the DSWD, no? Yeah. I mean, he has to go through uh, the I think, um, there's a specific law. Yeah, the on, on for, foreign, foreign yes. adoptions. Yes, yes. Uh, the the inter country, -country adoptions. Yes. 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 And this also requires a trial custody. Yes. So, mm. And in this case, who can he approach? Uh, Intercountry Adoption Board, no? Yes, Merong, that's right. um, there's an Intercountry Adoption Board. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think there's one in Australia where he resides. And he can initiate the process there. And the fact that uh, this child is the, do the son or the, the son. daughter of uh, the his late wife would have a great bearing in so far as the trial custody is concerned and uh, mm -hmm. the approval that the board may potentially give to him because of the mm -hmm. um, affiliation yeah, with this person. Or mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, we have a caller on the line again. Um, uh, this time, it's a caller named Christelle. Christelle of Quezon City, good evening. Good evening, Attorney. Good evening, Christelle. What, what is your question, Christelle? Uh, good, attorney, ano po, um, my, my mom has a twin sister, and she we don't know actually if she legally adopted this cousin way back when she was 10 days old. And then this cousin now is, uh, she has uh, three children, na two years old, and uh, I think four years old, and another uh, hearing impaired na six years old, and from different men. And now I think the whole family is burdened because of her unfitness to take good care of these three children. Okay. And parang kami yung, yung, yung twin sister ng mom ko yung nagbibigay ng, ng money lang para masustain nila yung everyday living. Can, can I, ano, parang, parang endorse si DSWD na yung mga, mga bata para hindi na yung buong family namin yung burden dito. Okay, so uh, let me get this straight. No? You're, you, you have uh, bali an aunt a twin sister the of your twin mom, sister, yeah. uh, who has cost. who has a daughter whom you feel was adopted, right? Yes, she yeah, okay. adopted way back. I think 10, 10 days old, but we no, we're not sure if she's actually legally adopted. Mm -mm. Uh, All right. Uh, is okay. there yeah. some what what appears on her birth certificate, uh, or is there any documentation that would show that she was in fact adopted? Mm -hmm. We we but parang binigay lang po yata nung ano nung mother-in-law nung nung aunt ko yon eh. So, so wala siyang birth certificate. Want to get rid of the fact na parang sweetik kasi siya sa family namin. Sweet. Alam mo yon. So so oh, in a way you I think yeah, she's she a burden. has three kids yeah. na hindi niya naman inaalagaan and it it the aunt of um of Christelle taking care of the yeah. three kids. I guess they want to oh, escape oh. from the legal obligation to, to support, support. Oh, it, to support yeah. this so, uh, relative, right? Yeah, so in yeah. that case, can they just turn over the custody of these three children to the DSWD? Well, they can't, you know, physically take the kids and then bring yeah. them to the DSWD because the mother still has presumption of uh, having had custody yeah. over them, you know? Yeah, you could be charged with kidnapping. Siguro, yeah. siguro, what they can do is if they feel na neglected yung mga bata or abused or yes. ab ab parang they, inaabandonan nung ano, no? Sumbog, they can yeah. report, yeah. Yeah. report yeah. Yeah. by the, right. by the, ano, by the mother. Mm -hmm. They yeah, can but, report yeah. to the DSW. But I think uh, your, uh, I think, Christelle, your, your question is you, you want to be able to just get away from the obligation of supporting I think, her, right? Maybe I think uh, Christelle uh, yeah. is also concerned yeah. for the welfare of the children, of the children because yeah. they have a mother yeah. who's not taking care of mm -hmm. them, yes, it appears. Yes. Oh. So I think tama si attorney Sabonay dito na you can report that to the DSWD 
and they can investigate the That's fitness right. of the mother. Yeah. Or, right. or they and can do it this way. Why don't they work within the presumption of being a relative to this uh, to to the mother, and then initiate adoption proceedings and have the mother turn over the cus uh, yeah. sign yeah. Uh, 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 the, have an affidavit, have an affidavit of consent, allowing them to adopt the children. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think oh. that's the Kung gusto niyo, kung willing, Cristel, kung willing yung yung mother ng children na magbigay ng affidavit. Uh, to allow you to adopt them, then that's fine. Uh -huh. But uh, I don't know. I, we're not sure if you you want to do that. I don't know if you want to yeah. adopt the children. Uh, no, not really. Not really. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So I think that's why they're they they're not prepared to adopt these kids. But yeah. they also want the kids to have a fit Fair. parent. Ah, okay. So, tama. Maybe the best way DSW. for them to do is report the matter to the DSWD. Yeah. Yeah, so the DSWD best. can. Investigate and, and, if and she's really an unfit mother, and, protect and then welfare. they can, de ba? Because in that case, if you have an unfit mother, they can get custody right. of yeah. the yeah. children. Yeah. And, yeah. and of course, yeah. the child can get custody, mm -hmm. and the mother can even be held liable for child abuse. That's or, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I hope you answered your question, Christine. Yes. Thank you very much, attorneys. All right. Okay, thank You're welcome. You. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Plural, talaga, attorneys. <laughs> yes. okay. okay. We have another question from Joy. My children are under the custody of my ex since they were born. We parted ways, but we were never married. My children are 10 years old and 8 months old. My ex and his family has denied me from visiting my children. According to them, I abandoned my children and therefore have no legal rights over them. I left my ex because he was hitting me. Plus, I needed to find work so that I can financially support my kids. Do I still have a chance of getting them back? Of course. Sad naman, no? Siya na nga yung battered um, partner. Yeah. And then she had to go away and now she can see her kids. And yeah. one is eight months old, so... Yes, definitely. Um, she, she has the right to, to get custody over, the, uh, over her children. Anak niya tong mga to. So, she just needs to file the proper yeah. uh, action. Ihabias para, corpus niya. Ihabias corpus, Ihabias corpus yeah. niya. Oh. Mag-petition for custody siya. Hmm. In fact, kung, ano, kung battered nga siya, she can actually use yung anti vouchy natin. Yeah, yes. violence sure. against women and their oh. children law. Yes. 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 Yeah. That includes a provision on getting custody yes. of the children. And, and sinasabi din doon na even if you suffer a, a battered woman syndrome, hindi ka disqualified mm -hmm. to have custody. So, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So technically yeah. here, the yeah. parents, uh, the family of the yeah. guy cannot prohibit her from seeing the yeah, children. Absolutely. Because absolutely. yeah, because um, in this case kung talagang there was some way that manipulate nila na makuha nga nila yung mga mm -hmm. bata, then he can she can even file criminal cases against them. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now Not what uh, on the on the other hand, no? what what uh, kind of defense will the family of the guy mm -mm. have? They mentioned abandonment. Yeah. Kasi, eh. oh. And um ano yung mga normal yeah. factors that the court Considers consider, yeah. to say that the parent, a mother or a father, has abandoned the child. So, pwedeng uh, yun nga, mm. in abandon dahil hindi na nagpapakita mm. uh, for a very long time. Tapos yeah. wala namang communication. Tapos pwede rin, ano, eh, uh, one of the things that can be considered, baka meron silang agreement. Mm -hmm. kung, kung meron silang extrajudicial agreement na binigay pala niya dun sa lalaki yung custody. Yeah, sure then that can be a basis for saying, mm -hmm. oh, we mm -hmm. mo na yung ano mo. Alright, mm -hmm. we, wow, we have another caller on the line. Uh, this time from Joey. Joey, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yes, what's your question? Yeah, my question is, uh, uh, way back in the 80s, I, w I was dating uh, this one lady for three, mga three dates lang. Three dates? Three dates. Uh, mga three dates, uh, three uh, iba-ibang dates, no? And then, oh. uh, after that, hindi na kami nagkita. And then after 10 or 12 years, uh, I received a, a, a pictures and letters na stating na, this is your daughter, ganyan-ganyan. And uh, I, I, out of, out of uh, jubilation, excitement, I answered back, so nagkaroon ako ng correspondences, uh, uh, making it as if uh, uh, that I admitted that it's my baby. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, so until it dragged on to these years, um, now I felt that it might not be mine. Mm -hmm. So, but, but I know that those letters that I gave uh, is an admission that I'm accepting that it's my baby. Now mm -hmm. my question is, is there a way of reversing the uh, because I know that my surname was carried was placed by the the mother oh. my surname that she's carrying oh. is there a way of reversing it uh, legally other okay. than DNA testing because I'm not sure if she is fine. 
Okay, now okay. he's questioning, questioning the affiliation. The affiliation, oh, affiliation right. Right. So what right. does Joey have to do in this case? Yeah, because he the, the child is carrying his family name, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, the DNA evidence already uh, conclusive. Mm -hmm. mm, in so far as to prove uh, his not being a father. Mm -hmm. of but they he, haven't done that yet, right? Joey, you haven't taken uh, the like first while up on proceedings and then to question you affiliation ng bata with yes, you. Yes, yes. And second... No, I, I didn't go into that uh, step uh, mm -hmm. yet. Yeah. And you don't, so, wala pong DNA go, test, right? I think right? you don't want to go through that yet test. Whatsoever. But want, he's willing, right? Are you willing, uh, Joey, to go through that DNA test? Or you'd rather um, not? Yes, I'm willing to go. In fact, I uh, I tried to be frank with the, with that uh, daughter of mine okay. and said that she's willing, but uh, she's reluctant about it. Mm -hmm. right. What does he fi have to file in court, Joey, in this case? Just to clear... The legal yeah, issues and whatever doubts if this child is mm, really specific, his daughter. Specific action mm. that he needs to file. They can question the affiliation, no? Mm -mm. Uh, he can file a petition in court questioning the affiliation of the the child. Because mm -mm. first, hindi naman sila married ni tong nung the mother, the mother, mother niya. Yeah. yeah, three days nga lang eh. Three oh, days three of dating. Days, yeah. Although sometimes that's also possible <laughs> that they'll have a child. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah sure. Oh, oh, so where can he file this case, Joey? Where are you from? Um, uh, I'm from Makati. Makati, mm -hmm. okay. So, so family court in Makati. Family court. Yeah, yeah. Go, to family court go to a family in court in Makati. Yeah. I, I mean, of course, go, go first to a lawyer. Because mm -hmm. oh, yeah. this, uh, this is a special proceeding. I would imagine right. this is a special proceeding. Yes, yes. It will be a, a formal proceeding. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, you'll have to build up your case. Mm -hmm. So, it, just like any other case, you have to get a lawyer and, right. and uh, proceed with this special special action. Yeah, in a way, well, with the dawn of DNA evidence, no, um, the the your fears that the the letters and the correspondences that you sent uh, are going to be used against you will give way to the conclusive Results. conclusivity of uh, conclusiveness of uh, DNA evidence. Mm -hmm. no? mm -mm. So, I, Joey, I hope we answered your question. At least that will resolve doubts. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you so much. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank so, you. We okay. have another question yeah, from Carla. Carla. Yeah. And she just sent this in. I just want to know what are my rights as the godmother and aunt of my 10-year-old niece. The child has clearly stated to me that she would rather stay with me than go with her mother, right. who's my cousin. Mm -hmm. My cousin just got mm -hmm. out of rehab and has no work to support the child. My niece has been brought up by my parents and me since she was young. My cousin has not been taking care her medication to control her mood oh swings, gosh. has not been visiting her doctor regularly, and we are suspecting that she is back to her old ways. I want her to move out of, her, of our house and either adopt or ask for custody of my niece. Which one is the better option for us? All right. Okay. I think so your you best have option is unfit yeah. mother again. Yeah, but uh, your best option is to adopt the child. Adopt yeah. the child. Yeah, because uh, uh, you want you are like the mother of the child already because you were the one that was raising the child for all intents and purposes Together while the parents. mother was uh, uh, being uh, uh, reckless and irresponsible. Mm -hmm. And then she even mentioned that the child even prefers to be with mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. And this is again what um, you already mentioned earlier at Ernisa Bonai, na they take into account the best interests of the child. Mm -hmm. And um, based on some of the custody cases I've handled before adoption cases, they actually it depends on the age of the child, but they can ask the child to testify, right? That's and right. As yes. to the preference. Yeah, in this yes. case, though, they, they would need the consent of the, the mother, right? Yes, so, pero yeah. siguro what, what she can do first is to uh, declare na yung, yung mother is unfit to mm -hmm. be the mother. To have that mm -hmm. declared, yes. yes. That's yeah, a yeah. separate court so, proceeding, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Having the mother declared unfit and then later on getting Filed adoption. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, secure the consent of the child because the child's yes. already 10 years old. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. I think one thing we have to clarify, if a yeah. child still has a parent, you can't just suddenly adopt yeah, them. No, no. If, yeah. In this case, especially if she doesn't want to give the consent of the ch <laughs> yeah. uh, to the adoption, then in this case, they would have to first get the a court, a, wait, a file a court proceeding to declare the mother as unfit and mm. then file for adoption. Right. Yeah. Mm. So, because it's not an abnormal situation, not in the Philippines. No? Like I said uh, at the start, no, we have extended families. Mm. Some cousins take care of, you know, mga yeah. magpipinsan sila or an aunt taking care of a child. Uh, normally, you have these situations and then mm -hmm. when the time comes nga, when you have to establish affiliation, mm -hmm. this is what happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, I have another question since we're on the topic of adoption again. Um, it's becoming more common here in the Philippines that there are some same-sex relationships. Mm. And I've had this question 
I've encountered this question several times as well, where some couples of the same sex want to adopt a child. And they usually ask, are we qualified to adopt a child, considering they are of legal age, they have stable <coughs> finances? Is that a disqualification? Well, you can't adopt a child as a couple. But cannot. You, you yes. cannot. But you can adopt the child as an individual and just raise the child together yeah, with your partner. Mm -hmm. But, but they course, have to choose who between them will adopt. Will yes. adopt. They mm -hmm. cannot be like parents no. and yes. adopt jointly. Well, functionally, they can be like parents, <laughs> no? but legally, but legally, legally not, they it's not, a civil, it's not a civil union. Yes, yes, yes right. because we so. do not recognize same-sex marriages yeah. in the Philippines. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I have this a question from a friend. No? You, you, as I mentioned earlier, foundling, she then registered, registered uh, the child mm -hmm. in her name. All right, as as the parent, no, as the natural parent, the biological parent. Um, now, in that sit situation, obviously, unless someone questions it, mm -hmm. there's a there's a presumption of regularity. Unless someone questions it later on, that's right. So she is a bit concerned. She's a bit concerned, and and she was asking if, whether she should adopt. That that'll be. I said that'll be strange if you're adopting. Wh who is on record? Your biological mm -hmm. uh, child. Uh, child. So. In that case, adoption wouldn't be an option, right? Yes. So, um, you, you don't need to adopt a, yeah. a yeah. legitimate child. I think she na nini gura dun because mm. you know, obviously. Uh, That's right. Uh, 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 later on, it might be questioned by, might by be, other relatives. Yes. But but so, yeah, but if you try to adopt. Your, a legitimate. your a legitimate child, you know, <laughs> the court will ask why. Why? Yeah, yeah. So that's, you have to file so that's why correction. she's stuck yeah. between a, a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Yeah. She she wants to protect the child and to legitimate the legitimate the, the child who is actually on record a legitimate yeah. biological child. Yeah, but that would be putting the cart in front of the horse yeah. at that, yeah. 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 Point, yeah. that that point in time. Yeah. Yeah. So, you just hope na lang that their, your, your relatives are. Mm -hmm. are, 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 are friendly, they won't question it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, All right. that's true. But uh, for now, I think since we're about to end our show, mm -hmm. it's, it will be helpful, helpful to recap. our viewers yeah, to, to recap because mm -hmm. we took okay. up a lot of things here. Yeah, there's a lot. And there's a lot of callers. Din, no? yeah. So oh one, let's go to adoption first. Mm -hmm. So adoption, one uh, tip for especially same-sex partners out there, you're qualified to adopt as individuals, but you cannot adopt together as a couple. You can't mm -hmm. be like uh, the other regular parents, na mm. husband and wife, and jointly adopt because uh, only married couples can adopt. And uh, in the Philippines, there's still no law on same-sex marriages. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. other things, maybe, uh, attorney, you mm -hmm. can give us a summary of requirements to adopt, yung well, general, general requirements. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, general requirement, um, if it's not your child, you need to adopt. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, kung mag ka, you need to adopt jointly. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can adopt if you are of legal age, uh, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, and financially sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You financially sound, sorry. Uh, how financially sound? Because others would be simple means lang, right. middle class, and you have to be, how wealthy do you have to be? Uh, there is no hard and fast mm -hmm. rule as regards financial ano, no, soundness. But for as long as you have work, you can feed right. the child, you can mm -hmm. send him or her to school, mm -hmm. then I think that would that would suffice. Right. Mm -hmm. So there are no there are no restrictions that can I adopt, let's say a cousin, I can adopt uh, a yeah. nephew, I yeah. can adopt. So there there are no restrictions when it comes to affiliation. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. And fact, can you adopt from abroad? Yes. Well, in fact, foreigners can even adopt uh, the re blood relatives yes. of uh, their spouses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, walang, walang, I guess the only... Uh, but they, they yeah. have, pagka foreigner ka, mm -hmm. and you're not really married to your um, partner, there has to be, you have to respect the 16-year age gap. Yes. yes. Yeah. Because yes. the exemption is only Kapan if this is your own biological child mm -hmm. or if uh, this is the child the of your child. married partner. Mm -hmm. And um, well, attorney yeah. Derek, Derek, what yeah. about the requirements for custody? Who gets custody? Okay, yeah. well, uh, it's very simple. If you are legitimate, the, the child is legitimate, husband and wife. If uh, the child is illegitimate, it is the mother uh, who will have uh, custody over the child. Of course, we use yung tender age uh, doctor, uh, presumption, which is uh, children below seven years old are presumed to be in the custody of their mother. Uh, the mother uh, does have uh, the, the custody of their child, but 
can be deprived of that custody if certain conditions are met uh, in, with regard to there being uh, a, a danger to the children mm -hmm. they have custody over. And just a final thing, I know there's an expression that you can always waive your rights. Can you waive your parental right and duty? No, mm -hmm. of course you cannot. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. all right. You cannot. So you can't just say, "Oh, I waive my rights." So bala kana. You can't. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, that is all the time that we have for tonight. We would like to thank our guests, Attorney Frederick uh, Vincent Lu, uh, managing partner of the Lu Mamangon Huko Law Office, and Attorney Ricky Sabornay, associate at the Castillo Lamantan Patilion and San Jose Law Officers, for being with us tonight. I'm Attorney Rod De Pumseno. And I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. If you have any questions on our topic for tonight, you may share them with us on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Join us again next Monday as we discuss your legal rights. Good night.